Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham, Rahakadash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, whom this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shah being the name of His only begotten Son, whom this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, and peace and mercy to the hopeful elect, those men that are doing His work in sincerity and in truth across the four corners of the earth, presenting their bodies as living sacrifice. And much love to the one-third and the innumerable multitude of you believers out there. To you all, I say shalom and greetings, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is going to be a relatively uh, short lesson. Um, I got I have an article here from USA Today. Um, you know, people are starting to feel that crunch, man. People are starting to feel that their pockets tighten. You know, you, you reaching in your pockets now, and that, that dust and lint are starting to come out, man. You know? And I'm not necessarily talking about brothers, even though, hey, the body going through it too. But the difference is we have a hedge and protection, all right? But these people that are giving, like, different testimonies. I wish I could have been able to find the videos, but they wasn't giving them to me. But nonetheless, uh, I got this article here. It says, grocery store prices are rising due to inflation. Social media users want to talk about it, all right? Um, it says... Shiloh Lewis was shocked by how much her last grocery store haul cost. Actually, I might use her picture of her table um, or the other lady about her, all of her items uh, as my, my profile picture. It says, uh, a cart full of ingredients for sandwiches and tacos, enough for four lunches and a couple of dinners for her and her husband, plus an 18-pack of beer cost her just under $100. The 49-year-old snapped a photo of the haul and posted it on Facebook Wednesday in dif disbelief. All right, let me see if they put this picture up. Oh, no. They didn't do that one. But it says, uh, she quotes, If it keeps going up, I don't know how so many people are going to be able to continue to eat, she told USA Today, adding that she and her husband had to stop at a food bank to stock up on more supplies after the trip to Safeway. The food is meant to last them until October 15th when her next paycheck come, paycheck comes in. And this is, a, this is you know, today's date is October 7th, uh, Saturday, October 7th. So, you know, that's about eight days, you know, that she's, that she's thinking that $100 is going to last her, you know. It says, we've been struggling. It says, with grocery prices up nearly 17% over the past two years, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, people are turning to social media to share how much money it takes to feed a family. Okay, let me see this one. So this lady here, her name is Little Billy on Twitter, right? And even though it seems like a lot of stuff on that table for the price, it's not, right? Uh, this picture here, let me screenshot this. It says $270.47 and don't act like you don't like Pringles because people are probably saying like, you know, some of this stuff you can put back because it is some trash that she got on here that she don't need to get. You know what I'm saying? Like she do got cookies over there, uh, Halloween cookies, uh, fucking pumpkin dessert, whatever the hell that is, little bites, you know, but they might have children too, you know, uh, three things of Pringles. You know, a bag of Doritos, but all the rest of that stuff looks pretty important. You know, strawberries, fruit, grapes, oil, lettuce. Uh, it looked like it's a couple things of chicken over there and some juice. But this is not a lot. This this right here, this should cost you about a hundred dollars, I would say, in a normal scheme of things. This should probably cost you about a hundred bucks, cause you know, maybe a hundred twenty, hundred thirty. But I um, uh, you know. <laughs> I tend to pride myself on eyeballing uh, items for groceries and to be able to tell you about how much it costs. You know, obviously, this, this matters from place to place as well, you know, because some things at some place are, not as, are more expensive than other places. But looking at her items, I would say she probably got this from, like, a Publix or... Uh, could be a Walmart, but I doubt it because I don't see any, like, great value. She seems like she gets a little bit higher end stuff. But it seems like Publix, uh, I see the Berea, Berea, uh pasta. And they got a uh, Marie's uh, Caesar dressing. 
those are like Publix items. And then the fruit over there, how it's labeled, it looks like something Publix would have. But I could be wrong. But it looks like she got the Simply Juices. Some stuff Walmart, you know, you just don't care. Like, carry, you know. That non bread, those are like Publix items. So, um, you know, but it says, uh, I'm going to get a scripture momentarily. But it says, turn on social media, share how much money it takes to feed a family. And it says, on one user on X, formerly Twitter, posted a photo of a grocery store haul and said it cost more than $270. Another Twitter or X user said a haul with cereal, chicken breast, pancake mix, and more cost over $200. You see? So these people are, they're getting to the point where it ain't adding up. You know, and the one lady is going to expound on that uh, momentarily, too. But let me get this scripture. This is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 17. The point is in 21. It says, Woe is me, woe is me, who would deliver me in those days. The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginnings of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginnings of evils, what shall I do when these evils come? You see, and we're seeing that the beginning of sorrows and mornings and famine and great death. And they're talking about wars. OK, behold, famine, plague and tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. So the Lord has got to judge these people based on these different ways, man. And famine is one of them having a lack of food. You know, Americans have grown so keen and prone to just being able to get food whenever they want it. All right. But it says, before all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. So even while you're seeing the world is changing and they're not, they're not getting the things they used to be able to get, they're not going to they're going to keep being wicked. It says, nor be always mindful of the scourges. You see? And so they're going to continuously be demons, no matter, although the situation is changing. Uh, verse 21 says, behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon the earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. And see, right now, you can still get some things cheap. But for the most part, prices are going up. And see, that's the thing. They think because they was getting them cheap, they thought themselves to be in good case. Right? They thought that everything was good and dandy because they could get it for the loan. But now they're starting to see that change. And the Lord is starting to put the pressure on them pockets, man. You know? And, you know, we even feel it. You know, we feel it, too. Of course, we live in this society. We feel a crunch. But we know when the time comes where food is going to be a, a true uh, luxury, you know, we're going to be taken care of through the spirit and power of your help. I shall, Lord willing, we be at our number. All right. But it says, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So there are going to be many that uh die from not being able to eat you see and that 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 she just said that she said let me go back to that part where she said that she said if it keeps going up i don't know how so many people are going to be able to continue to eat see that so that lines up right with scripture okay uh going back to the article it says some posts receive pushback with social media users pointing out various non-essential foods see in the photos photos posted online so that's what i'm saying like you know, you got to start buying smart, right? Um, you know, that goes for brothers, too. I get it. it we, it's things that we like. But, you know, I, I've even started, I'm like trying to get things that are necessities, trying to get things that are important, not getting no junk food and bull like that. You don't need none of that stuff. That will cut a lot of your costs back. So, you know, you can get your, your proteins, you know, you get stuff to make your meals. All of that extra stuff can get cut out. The things you... Want is different from the things you like or just enjoy, all right? It says, and but that's what people always try to do. Oh, I'll tell you which, and and that's really not the point, honestly. As far as, you know, yeah, you can you can be smarter about your funds, but the point is that 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 table of items shouldn't cost two hundred and seventy dollars, and that's what she's trying to say. So regardless of people trying to say you don't need to get that, that's not the point. The point is that that shouldn't be two hundred seventy dollars. It says, uh, but the post made clear that the people across the country are noticing higher costs in grocery store aisles. Right. Everybody's seeing how much stuff is, is going up, man. You go to the store now, nah, shit. It's a completely different reality going into the stuff you used to get. It costs damn near twice as much now. It says Lewis, a substitute teacher in Terrebonne, Oregon, said she's looking to find a full-time teaching job to help bring in more money 
and make grocery shopping easier. We've been struggling since 2020 when everything shut down. She said, noting that she and her husband are still behind on certain bills. The water seems to have gone up. The electricity has gone up. The gas prices. The only thing that's not really going up is the wages. You see that? So, hey, everything going up but it, but the check. We say this all the time. And so this is this is the point in your life where you your faith got to go up. Your your spiritual knowledge got to go up. Your your praying to the heavenly father got to go up because of these prices going up, hey, a lot of people are going to be real destitute soon. And hey, they're going to whip out that sea hip as perfect opportunity for people who need something to fall back on and to rely on. Um this is second Ezra 15 and 15. For the sword, for the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. People are about to start fighting each other real soon. It's gonna get bad out here, man. All right. It says, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. You're not going to be able to travel border to border and city to city and state to state like you were before, right? If you are, it's going to have to be secretive. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The, and people are even proud when it comes to food. You see that? Even saying stuff like, hey, you know, oh, this is how much it costs. Don't tell me you don't like Pringles, you know. And then people saying, oh, you can do this, you can do that. People got pride even in their food choices, man. Oh, you know. Uh, they want to live certain lifestyles and you too bougie watch all the even look i'm not i was a vegetarian for five years so i'm not knocking if you want to be a vegetarian you know we got a brother in the camp who's trying to take the vegetarian and vegan route now i'm not knocking if you want to be a vegan but uh it's the time is gonna come where food is gonna be food you know uh it's if you if you see a chicken you're gonna be like hey yo that's dinner tonight all of these lifestyle choices is about to go out the door for people. The only lifestyle choice that's not about to change is the hopeful elect eating abominable foods. That's the only thing that's that's uh, going to stay consistent in the earth. But these people are about to start eating whatever they can get their hands on real soon, man. The scriptures talk about they eat uh, the mouse, man. They're going to eat mouse. They're going to eat turtle. They're going to eat uh, duck. These people are about to be uh, rats. You know, anything they can get their hands on, they're about to be devouring it, man. Right. It says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You see that? So that lack of food, they don't know how people are going to eat. It's going to get it's going to get terrible. Terrible is not even a word, man, because not have a place where you used to get everything at your fingertips like, you know, I do uh, these app-based businesses on the side, you know, Uber Eats, uh, DoorDash, stuff like Instacart, stuff like that. So when well, you in a lifestyle where everything is delivered to your doorstep to the point where there's nothing that can be found, you know, to the point where it's truly expensive first and then nothing can be found. And I've noticed, you know, you starting to see an Edomites, even though I hate seeing these Edomites, they be out there living good lives sometimes, but... A lot of them are starting to feel the crunch. A lot of them are giving less and less tips. You know, people are not tipping as much as they used to, you know. It's because they realize they got to use that money for something else, right? But then eventually they have to tip more because they're realizing people denying their orders, okay? So this thing is it's getting real, man. Slowly but surely, it's getting real. It says, uh, while many... Hold on. While many of the grocery hall posts are commis commiserating about, prize about prices, some show how money-saving tricks like couponing can help shoppers save. So one girl goes, goes, starts to go in how you need to try to find uh, alternatives and how you need to find, uh, 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 what did she say? Oh, sales, Get, uh, buying when things are on sale. But, hey, it don't always work like that either, you know? And she did say right here, changing your diet, avoid avoiding processed foods and high cost items like certain meats can help lower costs. That's true because, you know, now you like what you like at the end of the day. But, you know, sometimes instead of getting beef, you got to get turkey. 
You know, instead of getting uh, uh, chicken breast and wings, you might get thighs and legs, you know, so you do got to make some adjustments, you know, and that, that goes for brothers, too. You got to make adjustments. But these people are going to be completely destroyed soon, man. Right. This says Proverbs 28, 3, a poor man that oppresses the poor is like a sleeping, a sweeping rain, which leaveth no food. And that's Esau. Esau oppressing the poor is like a sweeping rain was leaving no food. And see, it's like it's nothing left. You know, that's how our people are right now that you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanic and Native Americans. You already without food, man, even though you're eating, you without food, because the real food is the scriptures, man. You know, the real uh, water is the scriptures. And see, water is about to get real, real precious real soon because then water prices is going up, too. But water, you're going to you're going to want water. You're going to want. These, these, in order, these are the things that you're going to want. You're going to want the Heavenly Father and His Word, right? Then you're going to want uh, oxygen. Then you're going to want water. Then you're going to want food. That's going to be the order of your survival in this place. And I'm talking about all human beings that's in Babylon and even in the four corners of the earth, you know? But people aren't going to be able to obtain, obtain that first one, and then the other one's not going to follow they they gonna have oxygen, but shit, man. What's the, it's almost like what's the point of having oxygen if you can't eat or drink or have the word of the heavenly father, All right? Um, let me see here. So I just had these this last one I wanted to get. I might just read this section. This is Mark six and forty one. It says, uh, "Let me start up." Mark six and thirty seven, and he answered and said unto them, "Give ye them to eat." Oh shit! I was skipping too much. Mark six. And 33, and the people saw them departing and many knew him and ran a foot thither out of all cities and out went them and came together unto him. And Yahweh when he came out, saw much people and was moved with compassion toward them because they were as a sheep, not having a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. So Yahweh saw this great multitude of people that were coming to listen, learn, observe, you know, be in his spirit, understand. But you got some that was just there just for the food. It says, and when the day was now far spent, and that's how people are now, we want the sincere believers. We don't want you there just because we got food, man, right? And that's what some people do. They come just because they're trying to see the entertainment. They just want to see what you got, what you're giving away. That's why these Christians fail to actually teach the word because people only come around there because they're giving away free shit, you know? It says, and when the day was now far spent, his disciples came unto him and said, this is a desert, uh, desert place. And now the time is far past. Send them away that they may go into the country round about and into the villages and buy themselves bread, for they have nothing to eat. He answered and said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they say unto him, Shall we go and buy two hundred penny worth of bread and give them to eat? That's, that's a lot of money because that's how big the crowd was. He says, He saith unto them, How many loaves have ye? Go and see. And they knew. And they say five and two fishes. So they had five loaves of bread and two fish. And he commanded them to make all sit down by companies upon the green grass. And they sat down in ranks by hundreds and by fifties. These That was deep, man. By, they, by hundreds and by fifties. These were hundreds of people out there. And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fishes, he looked up to heaven and blessed and break the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before them. And the two fishes divided he among them all. And they did all eat and were filled. And they took up the twelve baskets full of the fragments and of the fishes. And when he had taken the five loaves and the two fishes, oh, excuse me. Um, and they that did eat of the loaves were about 5,000 men, right? And this then wasn't even talking about the women and the children, you see? So the Lord fed so many people with five loaves of bread and two fish. This is why we don't got nothing to worry about. Because if, if all the brothers, we around each other, this is the type of things the Lord is going to be doing for us. Just easily divided where we can all eat and we can all be satisfied, you know. And then it talks about how the disciples didn't even really recognize. It says their hearts were hardened. How they didn't even really recognize uh, what the Lord really did. They just took it and passed it out. Right. That's Mark 6 and 52. For they consider not that the for they consider not the miracle of the loaves for their heart was hardened. So 
They didn't even, they just, you know, they were so used to the Lord doing miracles and the Lord told them to do something. So they just passed it out. Not realizing like, damn, like the Lord just did a great work, you know? And so we're looking towards these things, whereas these people, they're not going to be able to just come around and get the food uh, because the Lord was moved with compassion. We're going to be moved with compassion with a lot of people too, but a lot of people, it's time for their judgment and their condemnation, not for their salvation to be out of the famine. You know, but I just wanted to get that because it's getting real out here and the people are going to see more and more and more. That crunch is going to come more. The pockets going to get tighter and them items on the table is going to get smaller and the prices is going to get higher. But you only you can make this out through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So with that, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhak Wadash, the double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and mercy to the elect. Until next time, Shalom.